Let's pick back up where I left off. We'll check the fill coil. And you can see my connection points here. I'm between the uh, filament here on the uh, Type 80 uh, tube. And then I'm back over to uh, pin number 3, which is grid number 2 of the 59. You can see the pathway there. So that allows us to check the uh, DC resistance there of the uh, fill coil which checks good at just under uh, 1,000 ohms. Let's check the output transformer, that being the primary. You can see I'm calling that out here on the schematic as well, the routing. And uh, we can simply go from uh, grid number two, at pin number three on the 59 tube, back over to the uh, plate, which is uh, pin two. So we can hook up here. And again, you can see the DC resistance across the uh, primary at uh, 420 ohms. So I think we're going to be good there as well. Now we can simply use those same connection points and inject a uh, modulated signal on the audio side across the primary of the uh, transformer. And you'll also notice I'm using some magnets here on the back side of the electrodynamic speaker since we don't have the uh, fill coil energized. And if you listen real close, you can hear the uh, speaker performing. So again, that would indicate that the uh, loudspeaker itself is in good health, that being the output transformer back over to the uh, voice coil itself. Of course, we'll know more once we uh, energize the uh, set and actually uh, play it for the first time. For a new generation on TNG Radio. Okay, guys, the receiver is actually not playing. I'm just testing the uh, front end of the uh, receiver that being the uh, antenna coil that loops back through the uh, tuning condenser. I'll show my uh, hookup locations here on the schematic in just a moment. But you can see I'm using the uh, signal tracer and I'm actually able to uh, tune around using a long wire antenna and RF ground. Amazingness, this is one product that works with water. Just checking to see if I can pass a IF signal modulated through that first IF transformer, and I can, using my signal generator. We'll check DC resistance as well. There you can hear it as I rock the dial. So it seems to be uh, resonance at uh, around 485 kilocycles. Given transformer number two a test, I don't like what I hear on the signal tracer. I'm uh, rocking the dial here, and there's no uh, resonance at uh, 485 kilocycles. It's kind of a broad response. So we'll know more when I check uh, DC resistance. You guys can refer to the uh, picture in picture here where my connection points are. And I'm rocking the dial. You can hear very little difference here. I believe I have the primaries of the uh, first and second IF transformers identified here. 11 ohms on one. And on the second, right at 11 ohms, you can see. But I'm really struggling on that second IF transformer which is located here to be able to measure the uh, secondary output. Everywhere I've traced so far it appears to be open and that uh, coincides with using my signal generator and trying to push a signal through it as well. Uh, these things are such a mess and all these wires have been spliced you can see here. I think I'm going to pull both transformers out of the set anyway. There's a lot of crud and crap back up in these cans. 
and uh, just get them rewired and check them. So um, it just may be a mistake on my part not to be able to actually read the DC resistance or there may be a problem with the transformer itself. Let's go ahead and finish checking the uh, oscillator coil. And if I'm looking at everything correctly, I think the oscillator section of the coil is good here. We'll know more later, of course. You can see here up close this uh, chassis is a mess.